class we have discussed introduction to ASICs. This class we are going to discuss about CMOS logic. What are the learning outcomes? Understand CMOS logic principles for digital circuit design and design and analyze a various adder architectures considering speed and area trade-offs, master booth encoding in multipliers for optimized multiplication processes, select and implement efficient data path operators, IO cells and cell compilers for seamless digital circuit integration. So, we are going to start with MOS transistors as switches. So, you can see here, you can see here there is an N channel a transistor. This transistor has a three terminals that is gate, a drain and source. Okay? So, when this transistor is going to turn on only if your gate input voltage is equal to 1. The N channel transistor is turned on only, only if we apply the gate voltage is equal to 1. So, you can see here the switch is closed here. You can see here the switch is closed. So, what happens if we apply the gate voltage is 0. So, if you apply a gate voltage is equal to 0, so you can see here the switch is open. The switch is open here. Whereas here the switch is closed. Here the switch is open and here the switch is closed. Okay? So, with respect to the p-channel transistor, the p-channel transistor is also has three terminals that is a gate, a source and drain. Okay? And look at the difference between the n-channel and p-channel transistor, there is a bubble here. Okay? So, this bubble indicates it is a, a p-channel a transistor. Okay? So, when it is going to conduct? So, when we apply a gate voltage as 1, when we apply a gate voltage as 1, so you can see here the switch is open, that means it is off. Okay? It is not going to conduct, switch is open. So, when we apply a gate input voltage as 0, the switch is closed, so the transistor is turned on. Okay. So, now we will discuss about the concept of inverter. Okay. So, this is a CMOS inverter. The CMOS is nothing but it is a complementary metal oxide semiconductor. It requires both the P channel and N channel transistor. Okay. So, the horizontal bar at the top indicates a VDD and you can also write uh, this uh, diagram as the uh, ground in the triangle way also. This is also is nothing but a ground symbol only or you can also mention this symbol. So, triangle at the bottom indicates a ground or a VSS. Okay. So, this is a P transistor. Okay, P channel transistor or a PMOS transistor. This is a N channel transistor or an NMOS transistor. Okay, look at the logic symbol. So, logic symbol of an inverter. So, if A is the input and F is the output. Okay, so let me write a function table for this in a, a simplified way. So, we have a, a two inputs, I mean sorry, one input as A and one output as F. Okay? So, this is uh, if you apply a input as 0, output will be 1. If you apply a input as 1, the output will be a 0. Okay? So, this is the function table or a truth table of an inverter. So, 
how it is going to work. Okay, so when we apply the A input as 0, when we apply a, a input as 0, okay, so you can see here when we apply the input as 0 over here, so your PMOS transistor will be turned on, okay, so the this is turned on, no, you can see here the switch is closed whereas NMOS transistor is turned off, so the switch is open, so your output Y or F, okay, we are considered here as F, so the output F is pulled up to the supply voltage, the output F is pulled up to the supply voltage, what is our supply voltage, it is VDD, it is 1 volt, so we get here as F is equal to 1 volt. What is the input we have applied? We have uh, applied as a input as A is equal to 0, okay. So, but now we can go for the second case if we apply A is equal to 1. So, if we apply A is equal to 1, okay. So, I will just erase this. So, when we apply A is equal to 1, when I apply A is equal to 1, so what happens here? So, the PMOS transistor is turned off, that means here the switch is open, whereas NMOS transistor is turned on, so the switch is closed, so your output is pulled down to VSS, the output is pulled down to VSS, that means your output voltage is equal to 0. So, when we apply the input A is equal to 1, F output will be equal to a 0, okay. So, next we can uh, discuss about uh, the concept of NAND and NOR gates. We know that the NAND and NOR gates are called as universal gates, okay. So, how this NAND and NOR gates are constructed? So, the CMOS gates, logic gates are also called as static gates because it requires the equal number of N channel and P channel transistors. Suppose at the pull down side if we are using two transistors, pull up side also we are using two transistors, okay. It requires equal number of transistors, okay. So, first we will discuss about the uh, NAND gate. So, the NAND gate has two inputs and one output. How the NAND gate is formed? An AND gate followed by a NOT circuit makes it as a NAND gate. Okay, so when we apply a, a input, so it is just if you compare the function table of an AND gate and NAND gate, it is just complementing the output entries because an AND followed by a NOT circuit. So, what is the AND gate says? When both the inputs are 1, the output is 1. So, it is this is exactly opposite. When both the inputs are 1, the output is a 0. So, we will see here how it is going to uh, work, okay. So, this we will take up uh, the case by case, okay. So, first we will take the according to the uh, function table that is we have since there are two inputs, so there are four possible combinations exist. So, that is we get uh, 0, 0, okay, 0, 1 and then 1, 0 and 1, 1. So, what is the output here? 1, 1, 1, 0. So, this is your output F, okay, and this is your inputs A and B, okay. So, let us take up the first case as when A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0, okay. So, that is this, when A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. When A and B are 0, 0, okay, so it is both the NMOS transistors are off, okay. So, let me take one page. 
So, I can uh, write the, the full uh, circuit diagram here. Okay. So, so, this is the PMOS transistors and this is the NMOS transistors. Okay. This I will be taking it as B, uh, A and now this is my output. So, that I will take it as this is my output uh, that is F. Okay. So, now if you apply a is equal to 0. So, this is the uh, circuit uh, diagram of uh, the NAND gate, 2 input NAND gate. This is the 2 input NAND gate. Okay. When A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0, see both are 0 that means this particular transistor will be off because this is an NMOS transistor. Look at the construction here, the NMOS transistors are constructed in series and PMOS transistors are constructed in parallel, but it requires both equal number of transistors. So, two transistors NMOS we have used and two transistors uh, the PMOS we have used. Okay. So, when we apply A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0, so both the series transistors are off whereas both the parallel transistors are on, both the parallel transistors are on. So, what happens here? The output F is pull up to the supply voltage. So, you get F is equal to 1. The output F is pulled up to the supply voltage. Okay. So, these two transistors are off. So, the switch is open okay. and these two transistors are on, switch is closed. Okay. So, the output F is pulled up to the supply voltage. Okay. So, let us uh, go back to our uh, slide. So, this is a circuit uh, diagram of uh, the uh, two input uh, uh, NAND gate. Okay. Okay. So, now that is what the cases uh, it has been written here. When A and B are both are 0, so both are it is off it is. So, the switch is uh, the okay, the switch is uh, open and uh, the switch is closed here. So, your output uh, F is pulled up to the uh, VDD or the supply voltage. So, this is the first case. So, that is why we get F is equal to 1. Okay. So, uh, let us uh, take up the second case when A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1. So, when we take A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1, so here this particular transistor is turned on whereas this is off, off because these two transistors are constructed in series. So, the output is going to pull down to 0 only if both the transistors are turned on whereas here the one transistor is turned on and another transistor is turned off here. So, the switch is uh, uh, open. So, there is no path over here. Okay. So, but the PMOS transistors are constructed in parallel. In parallel means if any one of the transistor is turned on also the output is pulled up to the supply voltage. So, this transistor is off whereas, this particular transistor is on that is uh, whatever we have given an uh, uh, input voltage as A is equal to 0 right. So, this transistor is turned on. So, the output F is pulled up to the supply voltage that is why we get F is equal to 1. So, let us take up the third case when A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0. When A is equal to 1 means this 
transistor is turned on whereas the B transistor that is that particular transistor is off that means the switch is open over here. So, if the switch is open, so the series path I have already told if both the transistors are turned on then only your output is pull down to the ground state ok. So, they, there is no path over here, but these two PMOS transistors are constructed in parallel if any one transistor is turned on is also ok. So, your output F is pull up to the supply voltage that is VDD. So, that is why we get for 1 0 combination also we get as F is equal to 1 ok. So, let us take up the last case when A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1 both the inputs uh, we have given uh, input voltage as 1. So, both the series transistors are turned on that means both the switches are closed whereas both the PMOS transistors are turned off. So, your output F is pulled down to 0 volts your output F is pulled down to 0 volts that is why for the last combination when A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 1 the output F is equal to 0 ok. So, now we will discuss about the uh, 2 input uh, NOR gate ok. So, let me write uh, the uh, functional diagram first the circuit diagram I am going to write ok and then we will come back and we will discuss over here. Okay. So, so, this is the uh, two input NOR gate. So, it has two inputs and uh, one output. So, how the NOR gate is formed? It is an OR gate followed by a NOT circuit or you can also write it as an OR gate followed by a a NOT circuit makes it as an a NOR gate ok. So, it is just do the complementing the uh, output entries ok. So, what is the function table of an OR gate only if both the inputs are 0 output is 0 for all other possible combinations output is 1 it is exactly opposite NOR gate ok. When both the inputs are 0 the output is 1 for all the remaining combinations the output is 0 ok. So, let us see with respect to the uh, transistor level. So, there is a bubble means it is a uh, PMOS uh, transistor. So, one more input. So, I will be writing it as A and B. So, look at the construction here. So, here the PMOS transistors will be in series and NMOS transistors will be in parallel. ok and I will take a different color for the output I will just take it as F ok. So, I also write the uh, function table ok um, let me we have taken it as is F. So, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 combination ok only for when both the inputs are 0 the output is 1 for the remaining combination the output F is 0. Let us see uh, with one combination. So, now when A is equal to 0 and B is also equal to 0 when A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0. So, this PMOS transistor is turned on and this PMOS transistor is also turned on ok. So, whereas, both the NMOS transistors it is constructed in parallel right. So, both the NMOS transistors will be turned off. So, what happens now your output F see both the series transistor are turned on both the series transistors are turned on that means both the PMOS transistors are constructed in series. Now, both are on. So, your output F is 
pulled up to the supply voltage that's why we get f is equal to 1 that's why we get f is equal to 1 that's why we get f is equal to 1 okay so the PMOS transistors are constructed in series when we apply a input voltage as A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 0 both the series transistors are turned on that means switch is closed whereas both the NMOS transistors are constructed in parallel both are off. So, the output F is pulled up to the supply voltage that is why we got here as a logic one ok. So, we will go back to the uh, slide. So, now you can uh, see here it is this case is over we have uh, completed ok. Now, we will see the next case what happens here that is when A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0 when A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0. So, you can see here the when A is 1. So, one PMOS transistor is uh, turned off and uh, it is turned off one PMOS transistor is turned off ok and another PMOS transistor is turned on ok. So, your output is pulled down to 0 because the NMOS transistors are constructed in parallel parallel means if any one transistor on is also ok. So, because of this transistor so your output F is pulled down to VSS or ground. So, that is why we get F is equal to 0. So, we can write uh, here also a small uh, function table. So, that is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. So, we get here 1 0 0. So, that is why we get the f is equal to 0. So, let us take up the third case when a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1. So, when a is equal to 0 this transistor PMOS transistor is turned on whereas, since b is 1. So, this transistor is turned off PMOS because both are constructed in series if uh, the both the transistor should be turned on then only your output is pull up to the supply voltage. So, here one is on and one is off. So, here the switch is open. So, since B is 1, so one more transistor is off in the NMOS side, but that are constructed in parallel. So, because of this transistor your output F is pulled down to VSS. So, that is why we get 0 as output. Now, the last case when A and B both are 1. So, when A and B both are 1, so both the tra PMOS transistors will be off and both the NMOS transistors will be turned on. So, it is going to pull the output to VSS. So, that is why we get F is equal to 0. Okay. Next is we will discuss about the series and parallel transistor. It is uh, very uh, important. Okay, so. In CMOS uh, logic gates that is a complementary CMOS logic gates what we have discussed just now is inverter NAND and NOR gates right. So, it requires the equal number of uh, the PMOS and NMOS transistors and it is also called as a static uh, CMOS gates ok. So, you can see here whenever so when there are two or more transistors in series are on only if all the series transistors are on very very important when two or more transistors in series are on only if all the series transistors are on whereas in case of parallel when two or more transistors in parallel are on if any one of the parallel transistor is on ok. So, what we have uh, 
uh, seen here is ok. So, this is the NMOS transistors are constructed in a series ok, NMOS transistors are constructed in series and we have given G1 and G2 are the two inputs ok. So, you can see here when we apply a input as a 0, 0 both the switches are both the switches are open. So, the it is uh, switches are open. So, it will be in the off state. So, whatever the value if you give here at A, you won't get it at a B side. Okay. So, similarly, if you give A G1 is equal to 0 and G2 is equal to 1, again this switch is open. So, the it will be in the off state. Okay. So, similarly, when uh, G1 is 1 and uh, the G2 is 0, this switch is open. So, it will be in the off state. Now, when if you give both are 1, G1 and G2 both are on, you can see here switch is closed. So, it will be in the on state. So, when two or more transistors in series are on, only if all the series transistors are on. So, this is an example of a NMOS transistor. Similarly, this is an example of a PMOS transistors. Okay. So, here the two PMOS transistors are constructed in series here and we are applying a input voltage as G1 and G2. So, when you give 0 and 0, so both the switches are closed. So, it will be in the on state. So, when you give 0 and 1, so the switch is open here. So, it will be in the off state. Okay. So, when you give here as the uh, what is it G1 as 1 and G2 as 0. So, this switch is open. So, it will be in the off state when both are 1. So, both the switches are open. So, it will be in the off state. Okay. So, now what happens if you construct the uh, parallel transistors here? The two NMOS transistors are constructed in parallel here. So, if you apply G1 and G2 is equal to 0, so both the switches are open. So, it will be in the off state. Since you can see here, now if you apply the G1, uh, the G1 as 0 and G2 as 1, so it will be on. Similarly, if you apply G1 as 1 and G2 as 0, it will be on. If both are 1, it will be on. That is what I said. If two or more transistors in parallel are on, if any one of the parallel transistors are on. Now, you can see here the construction of uh, the PMOS transistors. Okay. So, these two PMOS transistors are constructed in parallel. So, when we apply uh, the G1 and G2 as 0, so the switch is closed here. So, it will be in the on state. So, when you apply uh, the G1 as a 0 and uh, the G2 as 1. So, it will be in the on state. When we apply G1 as 1 and G2 is 0, so this switch is closed. So, it will be in the on state. When both are 1, so both the switches are open. So, it will be in the off state. Now, so, we have learned the concept of uh, the uh, De Morgan's theorem that is called as also called as uh, bubble pushing methods. Okay. So, the CMOS uh, stages are inherently inverting that means the NAND sorry AND and OR function must be built from NAND and NOR gates because whatever available with the minimum number of transistors means NAND and NOR gates only. We want to realize the NAND and NOR gates means we require 4 transistors. Suppose we want to realize an AND and OR gates means we require a 6 transistors because we have to invert it. So, whatever it is readily available is NAND form or the NOR form. We want to uh, see the function table of an AND gate means NAND followed by a inverter then we get the AND gate. Similarly, the NOR followed by a inverter we get the uh, the NOR followed by the inverter, we get the function table of the OR gate. Okay. So, that is what it is uh, this sentence uh, it means the inherently inverting. So, AND and OR function must be built from NAND and NOR, ga nor gates only. So, we know the De Morgan's law. What the De Morgan's law says that the complement of a product is equal to the sum of the complements and complement of a sum is equal to the product of the complements. Okay. So, the 
a into b whole bar is nothing but your NAND gate, this equivalent will be the two bubbles, okay. So, you can write it as like this actually it is the two inverters, the two inverters with the OR gate. But instead of writing an inverter symbol, we can write a bubble. That bubble indicates it is an inverter. Similarly, the A plus B, the whole bar is equal to the A bar into B bar. So, into the A bar into B bar. Okay. So, let us see about this. Now, how we can design a circuit that is for example, I have taken here as F is equal to A B plus C D using uh, the NANDs and NORs. How we can design it? See initially when we design the circuit by using uh, the basic gates. So, what we will be doing? A into B, so an AND gate, C into D AND gate. So, in between there is a plus symbol, so we are using a OR gate, okay. So, now the circuit will not be altered. So, what we are doing here is bubble pushing. That means, we are inserting two inverters. Say for example, if I write like this, an inverter followed by another inverter, it is nothing but a straight line, right? Why it is nothing but the same? Because if you give here as 0, you get the output as 1. So, what is the final output we are getting here as 0 only. So, an inverter in series with another inverter is nothing but a straight line. So, the original circuit will not be changed here. So, if you this, indi this bubble indicates one inverter, this bubble indicates an another inverter. So, your original circuit is not changed here. Similarly, this bubble indicates one inverter and this uh, the symbol indicates a one more inverter. Okay. So, here also this bubble indicates a one inverter and this bubble indicates a one more. So, we have inserted here the two inverters. Here also we have inserted here as two inverters. Okay. It is nothing but this circuit diagram only. It is nothing but this circuit diagram only. Okay. So, now we are converting this circuit into a the NAND form. So, when we want to convert the circuit into an AND form. So, wherever AND gate is there, insert two inverters at the output side. Wherever OR gate is there, insert two inverters at the output side. Okay. So, you can see here and this can be written as, so what I can write? Instead of writing this inverter, I will write like this only. Right? I can write like this. So, and this is already in NAND form, this single bubble, this is already in NAND form, this is also already in NAND form and this instead of writing a inverter, I will write the bubbles. So, what is this equivalent? What is this equivalent now? This equivalent is, see again there is a bubble and there is a bubble. So, no need to because an inverter followed by another inverter is nothing but a straight line. So, you can cancel these two. So, but what is the equivalent of this? The equivalent is nothing but by using a De Morgan's law, it is a NAND gate only. So, I can write like this. So, F is equal to AB plus CD, I can uh, realize like this. So, it is A, B, C, D and you get the final as F. So, here you get A into B the whole bar, here you get C into D the whole bar and here you get it is A B into C D the whole complement you get here. So, that you can solve this that will become this into symbol you can change into a plus. So, A B double complement plus C D double complement. So, double complement get cancels. So, finally, you get A B plus C D. Okay. So, so after that uh, the compound gates uh, came into the picture. 
what is this compound gets the compound gets is uh, formed by using a combination of series and parallel switches the compound gates is formed by using a combination of series and parallel uh, switches okay so this compound gates are available as aoi that is aoi is nothing but the and or the invert okay and oai is nothing but the or and invert okay so what this indicates 2 2 1 okay so two input two input and again one more input so aoi 2 2 1 is nothing but you can uh, see here it is there are two inputs so that's why it is one and get again two inputs that's why it has one more and get and there is only one input but it is in between there is a or function okay so that's why it is or get and finally invert is there that's why there is a complement over here so and function or function and invert function okay so you can see here oai it is or and and invert so it is 3 2 1 so what may be the expression here 3 2 1 so this is a plus b plus it is a c okay into two input is there so d plus e okay then into f so it is whole invert a plus b plus c into d plus e into f you can see here a b c it is three input or get d and e one more or get and f is going directly to here so this is an and get so that is in between it is a multiplication okay so in between there is a multiplication and finally there is a invert so similarly here also you can write it here it is it is ab plus cd plus e so it is plus e the whole bar see this whole complement indicates invert this is in between plus is there no so that is nothing but o or function and a is nothing but your and function a b c d and e that is a and function similarly here first is only or function is there so a plus b plus c because 3 it is written here next it is d plus e so 2 it is written here into f so it is and function is there at the center so it is multiplication into into and finally it is invert so finally it is a complement okay so this structure we are calling it as a compound gets uh, it requires uh, the less number of uh, transistors and it is more uh, compact compact and it uh, works in a form of a conduction complements so let us discuss like how we can implement the uh, compound gates for the function ab plus cd because a uh, previous slide we have discussed about uh, the uh, how we have done a bubble pushing right that is ab plus cd okay so now how we can realize using the a transistor a version okay so you can see here uh, the ab plus cd so ab is a and get cd is a and get in between plus or get and there is a complement so it is inverter okay so how we are realizing it first see here ab is a and get right so i have told the compound gates is formed by using a combination of series and parallel switch structures right so a a and b this is a and gate so a and b are and gate so it is constructed in series 
AB is AND gate, it is constructed in series. Now, CD, okay. So, CD is also a AND gate. So, this is also constructed in series, okay. But in between what it is there? In between there is a plus symbol. So, both are comes in parallel. AB comes in parallel with CD. So, whatever I have written here, see A and B is a AND gate. It is in series and C and D is also an AND gate series. So, in between there is a plus symbol. So, both are constructed in parallel. Okay. Next, exactly I have told compound gates works in conduction complements. Right. So, A and B are with respect to your PMOS transistors, A and B are constructed in parallel because here A and B are in series, right? So, with respect to a PMOS transistor, A and B are constructed in parallel and C and D is also constructed in parallel, okay? Now, these two will come in series, whereas in case of your NMOS transistor, A and B and C and D are comes in parallel, whereas in case of PMOS transistors, so, A and B parallel transistor comes in series with C and D parallel transistor. So, this is the circuit diagram with respect to P channel transistors, ok. So, now we can join uh, both the N channel and P channel transistors. So, we get here as A, is, A and B are in series and C and D are also in series constructed in parallel and A and B will comes in parallel, C and D comes in parallel, both are in series, right. So, now this is the output Y, ok. So, let us take uh, some combination like how it is going to work. See here, because it is A, B, C, D. So, you can A, B, C and D and we can say the output as Y, ok. So, it uh, since A, 4 inputs are there. So, the 15 possible combinations it uh, uh, exist, ok. So, your 0, 0, 0, it is A, B and this is C, D. If you do plus, ok. So, it will be 0 plus 0, invert it, you get the output as 1. Like that, you can take any combination. For example, I will take here as uh, 1 0 1 0 for example. So, like this it continues and it ends up to 1 1 1 ok. So, now if you see here A into B ok together what you are going to get 0, C into D if you multiply it you get here as 0. In between you have to C plus that is A B plus C D 0 plus 0 0 0 complement will be 1 ok. So, we will take up uh, any combination say for example, 1 1 you want to take. So, 1 1 this will be 1, A and B if you multiply it, it will be 1 and again C and D is also if you multiply it, it will be 1, ok. So, 1 plus 1 will be 1, but complement of that will you are going to get the output as a 0, ok. Because this is a compound gates, it works on con conduction complements and the output will be in the inverted mode only. So, we will see here now by applying a different values, we will uh, take up the case as 1 0 and 1 0. So, A is equal to 1 ok and B is equal to A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0 ok and C is equal to 1 and D is equal to 0 ok. So, now you can see here C and D are constructed in parallel. So, this is on, ok. So, I will just uh, put a tick mark. Ok. So, this is on and this is off. And similarly, now the B is 0, right. So, B is 0. So, I will just write it as so it is on 
and this is off ok. Now, A is 1, so that is on, B is 0, you can see A and B are constructed in series. Similarly, C is 1 and D is 0, so C and D is also constructed in series. So, this switch, this switch is open, again similarly this switch is also open. So, path is not going to exist, so your output is not going to pull down to 0 state, right. So, now if you see here, now what is the value we are going to get here as, see A is uh, 1, so it is off, see C transistor, this particular transistor is on and this is also on. See these two are constructed in parallel, if any one is turned on is also ok, again these two are constructed in parallel, if any one transistor is turned on is also the path is ok. So, since these two are constructed in series, right these two are constructed in series, so it can take the path like this. So, you can see here this path it is going to take like this because this is also on, this is also on. So, your output to Y is pull up to the supply voltage that is why you get Y is equal to 1. The output Y is pull up to the supply voltage that is why you get Y is equal to 1, ok. So, we can take in one more case. So, now A is equal to 1 and all are 1 case we will take. So, all are 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, if you take all as 1, so what happens here? So, these transistors are turned off, whereas this A transistor, N, N channel transistors will be turned on. So, all four N channel transistors will be turned on and all four PMOS transistors will be turned off, ok. So, this is A, B and here also series path exists, here also series path exists. So, both are in parallel, even if C and D is not turned on also, your output is pulled down to 0 or if A and B are in the off state also, due to the C and D, the output is pulled down to 0. So, anyway, this all four transistors are turned on, so your output Y is pulled down to 0. So, that is why we get here as 0, ok. Now, constructing a CMOS logic cell. Okay. So, here you can see there are uh, uh, different ways how we can uh, size the transistor, it is very important. So, what is the unit inverter? We get Y is equal to A bar that we know and A O I 2 1 we know that it is AND or invert 2 1 means you have 2 inputs and 1 input 1 more 2 1. So, it is OR because it is center 1 it is OR. So, here you are going to get a plus symbol and invert and A O I 2 2 we have realized just now it is A B C D the complement ok. Then we have a, a complex uh, uh, A O I, so that is uh, Y is equal to uh, that is some complex expression we have taken and or logic. So, A into B plus C plus D E the whole bar. So, you can realize this using basic gates. So, A B is AND gate plus C it is OR gate and there is an invert ok. Similarly, A B C D we have already done it ok and complex A O I you can see here first you can see B plus C there is an OR gate here that is multiplied with A ok and then D and D is one more AND gate. So, that in between plus C is there so OR gate and there is an inverter whole complement is there that is why there is a bubble ok. So, what is this? Uh, this we know the logical diagram of a CMOS inverter what it is written here it has 2 and 1. Why it is written here as 2 and 1? The width of P MOS it is taken as 2 and width of N MOS it is taken as 1. Why? See here for a n channel transistor, the width of n channel will be 1, 
to achieve a effective resistance as r to achieve a effective resistance as r whereas in case of a pmos transistor it has twice the resistance to r due to uh, mobility now in order to achieve a effective resistance as r we are doubling the width of the pmos transistor okay so the unit re, uh, the uh, width of your nmos transistor is one to achieve a resistance effective resistance as r okay so the pmos transistor has twice the resistance due to mobility so in order to achieve a effective resistance as r we are going to double the width of the pmos transistor so when we double the width of the pmos transistor we have both equal rise and fall times we have both equal rise and uh, fall times okay so uh, this has been uh, uh, done so in the uh, next class we are going to discuss in detail with respect to evo i21 evo i22 and complex evo i so in uh, in this class what we have discussed about the cmos uh, uh, the uh, logic gates with inverter nand gates nor gates and uh, the complement uh, what is that series and parallel uh, transistor how it is going to work and also we have discussed about the uh, bubble pushing and uh, we have discussed about de morgan's theorem in next class we are continuing uh, this session only thank you